Hello everyone, my name is John Jeffrey Gazan. Hi everyone, I'm Kane Dalo. Hi, I'm Shedrick Lim and, and we are from BT1G. Hi, I'm Kane. Have you ever seen an object flying that looks like an airplane but there's no person inside of it? Well, that object might be a drone. But, what is a drone? A drone is also called an unmanned aerial vehicle or unmanned aircraft systems is a broad term that refers to an aircraft that operates autonomously or by remote control with no pilot on board. Drones are now often used by the civilians and the militaries. Civilian UAVs are used for package deliveries and recreation. On the other hand, Military drones are used for reconnaissance missions and aerial combat. How do drones work? In order to fly, drones rely on a combination of hardware and software components. They are often equipped with rotors, propellers, or fixed wings, sensors and cameras, navigation systems or GPS, and gyroscopes for stability. Additionally, some of the most critical components of drone technology are its ground control station, payload, and data links. Ground control stations or GCS are the hardware and software setups that allow drone operators to communicate with a drone from the ground. Payload, it is the weight a drone or unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV can carry. And lastly, data links. It acts as the transmission center that allows the drone to communicate with the ground operator when in flight. So, now that we've learned what drones are and how they work, let's go over the uses and types. So that was such an amazing introduction and report by Ms. Kane Dalo. Now we're going to talk about the different types of drones and what are they used for. So drones can be used in photography, videography, delivery services, and search and rescue. Additionally, they can also be used in agriculture, surveillance, personal use, wildlife monitoring, 3D modeling, and military operations. So this time, we're going to talk about the different types of drones and each tailored to the unique demands of different industries. Want to know the different kinds of drones? Let's find out. So the first in the list will be the multi-rotor drones. Multi-rotor drones are probably the most accessible drones available to the public since they are easy to control and maneuver during flight. Some multi-rotor drones are ideal for beginner pilots as well, making them an affordable option in the drone market, meaning that they are one of the most common drones that you can see in the public and industry as well. Second is the single rotor drones. Single rotor drones, which look like tiny helicopters with one central propeller attached to their frame. So they can be powered by gas or electricity and usually used to transport heavier objects that includes the LiDAR systems that can be used to survey land, research storms, and map erosion caused by global warming. So the single rotor drones are mainly used by professional pilots. They can also lift up heavy payloads up to 40 kilograms they are also one of the most efficient drones that you can use because they use electricity and consumes less fuel. And also, they fly faster than the multi-rotor drones. So the next one will be the fixed-wing drones. The thing about fixed-wing drones is that they look like normal airplanes, where the wings provide a lift instead of rotors. Since these drones are usually much larger, they need to take off and land on runways just as airplanes do. There's also the fixed-wing UUVs, which is mainly used by the military to carry out strikes, by scientists to carry a large amount of equipment, and even by nonprofits to deliver food and other goods to areas that are really hard to reach. So the last one will be your very best fixed-wing hybrid VTOL drones. Fixed-wing hybrid vertical takeoff and landing, or the VTOL. These are the kinds of drones that blend the best of fixed-wing and rotary drone models. They can also take off and land vertically, but they can also fly horizontally. Companies that take advantage of this combination, relying on fixed-wing hybrid beetle drones, 
to further cut down on delivery times while offering a more versatile flight experience, meaning they are really used by the most or one of the most professional pilots out there in the world or industry. So that's it from my report. Thank you very much for listening. Now I'm going to pass you to the next reporter, which will be your very best or truly Shedrick Lim. Bye-bye. Thank you for that wonderful presentation you gave us, Mr. Gazon. And now, let's move on. Other common types of drones. Drone companies have responded to the demand for drones in specific sectors as well. There are a lot of types and design and here are some of the more popular types of drone technology design for various scenarios. Underwater remotely operated vehicles, combat drones, delivery drones, GPS drones, endurance drones, racing drones, reconnaissance drones, and lastly, toy drones. And if you wonder if drones have regulation, yes, they do! Drones also have some regulations. Some regulations for drones are Drones must weigh no more than 55 pounds Drones must be registered with the FFA or it means Federal Aviation Administration Drones must follow remote ID rules except in FFA, recognized identification areas Drones must avoid no drone zones which can be viewed with the B4U fly service Drones must abide by any additional airspace restrictions. Drone must be flown no higher than 400 feet. Drones must be kept in the line of sight of the pilot or an observer. And lastly, drone must make way for other aircraft to maximize safety. But remember and always remember, everything has its pros and cons. Drones are easily affected by weather. Their precise operation is difficult. It will take away future jobs and can be easily abused, but despite the imperfections, drones are fun to use, enforce security and surveillance, and most important is, can save lives. Thank you, Mr. Shedrick. And that brings an end to our lesson. So, in your opinion, are drones beneficial to humanity or detrimental? Check out the description below for additional information. Don't forget to like and subscribe!